Hi, my name's Art, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a program called Record Ready. Now, I'm working on a remix of Major Lazer's Ponda Floor track, and I'm using Propellerhead software's Record to do it. So let me pull up this project. Now, what I've got here is um, a track at 95 BPM, and the original track from Major Lazer is uh, 127 BPM. That's a pretty big difference. Um, and I have a Rex file playing here. Uh, kind of a foundation and a groundwork for the remix. And I've got a little thing, I'm experimenting a bit here, where I've got uh, the tempo spinning up from 72 to 95 BPM here at the beginning. So let's, let's listen to what this sounds like. Okay, cool. So the first thing I want to do is bring in one of the stems uh, from the original track. So let's do that here. And you'll notice that when I select these files uh, in the recorded file browser, it says no tempo data in file here, and it's the same for all of the stems. So if I try to import that, record won't conform it to tempo because it doesn't know the original tempo of the track. So if we play that back, kind of a train wreck, the, uh, the Rex file sort of foundation beat I have and, and the, and the um, imported beat just are nowhere near each other because this, of course, is, is playing at, at 127 uh, BPM and this is playing at 95 BPM. So let's try a file that, that does have tempo metadata, like a, a, an acid file. Oh, no, it still says no tempo data in file because uh, Record doesn't understand the ACID metadata. And if we try to look at Apple Loops, well, Apple Loops are in the CAF file format, and uh, Record can only import from WAVE or AIF files. So we're sort of out of luck there. In fact, we're sort of out of luck with all of our um, stems and loops. So that's what Record Ready is about. What Record Ready will do is take your existing audio files and add tempo data that Record can understand to them. So let's go to our stems here, and let's bring in the beat stem. And you'll see the record ready tells you there's no tempo information in the file. But we can go ahead and add the tempo information since we know it. And let's bring in our acid files. You can just drag a whole folder in. And our Apple loops, which are, you see these CAF files here. And let's go ahead and make those record ready. We'll hit convert all. It'll ask us for a destination folder. We'll just call that record ready. And it'll convert those files for us. It's really fast. It's already done. So let's go back to the uh, <coughs> project here and import that stem. We'll go to our record ready folder that we created. And you'll notice now when we select it, there is a tempo in the file folder. So when we import it, Record will conform it to tempo even if we have tempo automation. So listen to this. Cool. And let's go ahead and bring in one of our uh, acid files. Let's see. Copy that out for a few bars. And one of our Apple loops. Nice. And let's hear what that sounds like. So you can see Record Ready makes it possible to take existing files and your existing loop libraries and get them into Record in such a way that everything just works and is synced up. So that's Record Ready. Thanks for watching.